Dear Joseph, for a quiet man, as it appears that you were, it is remarkable that the church is going to spend a whole year thinking about you, reflecting upon you and talking to you in prayer. It is also interesting that your name is held in such high esteem. Everywhere I look, I see your name on church buildings, on schools, on basilicas, and so on. It is even given to people, whether they want to be called Joseph or Josephine or Josepha. It makes me wonder, how is that? What is it about you that makes you so deserving of such attention? We learn about you in the Gospels, obviously, in the stories about Jesus the Christ. But there is very little about yourself. But on the other hand, the few words that there are about you reveal a lot about the kind of man that you were. These few words about you have inspired many people in many ages. The first thing that I notice about you is that you were like any other young man looking forward to settling down as a married man and to starting a family. We know that you had your eyes set on a beautiful young woman named Mary, the daughter of Joachim and Anna from the town of Nazareth. You would have been a nice match, actually, for her, as you were a carpenter already and you had your tools and your workshop and you even had a donkey for your necessary transport and work. All seemed to be going so well for you and Mary until that day when all your plans were thrown into disarray by the strange reports and discoveries coming from Mary's home. I can imagine how sick you must have felt in yourself when you learned that Mary, your wife-to-be, was already pregnant. How you must have raged at the thought and wondered, what had she done to you? Who was she playing around with? But knowing her, it made no sense to you. It was not all like her at all. Things only began to make sense, however, when you went to bed that night. Suddenly we are told that you were having strange but consoling dreams. An angelic spirit came and said to you that everything was, despite appearances, in order. You were not to be afraid of what was going on. What had happened to Mary was like as if a young girl had won the lotto against all expectations. In your case, what she had won was being chosen to be the long-awaited mother of the Messiah, the messenger of God for the salvation of humanity. Now, I am sure that this was totally different from what you had been led to believe. I'm sure it was hard for you to get your head around that. But thank you, dear St. Joseph, for your graciousness in saying yes to Mary, to Jesus, and to God's will.